everyone, um, welcome to my first video on vermiculture, uh, vermicomposting, uh, worm breeding. Um, in the process of making up some new bedding, trying something a little bit different. Spent all last night shredding this paper cardboard up and soaking it, which took me quite a long time. Um, running it through the blender and getting it quite nice and fine. I'll wring this out and still do a bit more to it. I'll show you that in a bit. But um, yes. All right. I'll get back to you shortly and show you some more about this. in here otherwise it will not blend up really well not not in my crappy little blender anyway so put this lid on and show you how it's done cardboard goop. It'll look a lot nicer once it's uh, dried out a bit. Right, so here we have uh, all of our shredded up wet cardboard. It's got too much moisture in it at the moment, so I'm going to try and remove most of it. We can always add more if we need. Just, think you just put it in your hand and just squeeze it all out. Yeah. Nice bowl like that. Pack it up and put it into your bucket. I guess I'll still need another watch over in the blender. There we go. It's nice wet, crumbly cardboard that the worms will be able to digest a lot quicker. I'll show you what else I like to do with it before I am happy to call it done. And then all of this is pretty new to me. I just started in composting and culture. So I really don't have a lot of idea what I am doing myself, so still figuring it all out. So yes. Ah. So what I like to do when I've got some of this. 
this. Right, can I pull it back through the blender once more? Just so I can get it to the consistency. I'm happy to use this bedding. Consistency of the bedding I'm making for this particular experiment. Different everywhere. So I can see if the worms are happy to live and grow in just that. Um, I've got a little bit of other bits with it, but it'll pretty well be just a shredded cardboard and shredded newspaper. So I'm going to finish up doing all of this because you don't need to watch that. And See you when I'm done. Alright, I have finished blending all this down. So, not bad fine material now. It's a lot better than what whole cardboard looks like anyway. I'm going to attempt to use this as a bedding, just with a little bit of um, stuff out of the top of my bin. Just give it a bit of goodness. Not too much, so it'll be probably good 90% just shredded cardboard. So, see how it goes. This one I started the other day, but I didn't quite have enough shredded paper to do it all at the same time. So, Worms in here already. They seem like they're doing alright. They've only been in here for a couple of days. It's a little bit of um, cow manure and vermicompost just out of the old bin. Old new bin. But yeah. It smells a little bit ripe, but I think that's the manure. So. Alright, uh, well. I'm going to scrape this food out of the corner and mix a heap of this in and see how it looks. So yeah, at the moment it's only got about an inch of bedding in it, so it definitely needs a few more inches. Alright, I'll do that and get back to you. Alright, there we go. I've just finished mixing over that into here. A couple of wormies still getting around. He ran away from me. But should have all food up bloody this thing then. Nice red wrigglers or tiger worms, as we call them here in Australia. But yes, let's see how they do in this mixture. As you can see, it's mostly shredded cardboard and paper, and just a tiny little bit of dirt, just to give the worms something if I forget about them. So, yeah. Anyway. I'll show you my bin over here. So you can see my setup and what it looks like. Just some shredded paper in the top here, trying to keep the moisture down. Alright, that's my current top layer. Nice amount of worms in here. Like they're doing well. Still food there. 
there from what I fed the other day. Some pop there. Bear with me so I can take the next layer off. My second tray at the moment. Which is starting to get there. Which is full of baby worms. And there's plenty of worm eggs in here as well. There's one just there. Um, yeah. There's not a whole lot of worms in this at the moment. Which I guess is good. That's how it's meant to be. So, probably take all of this out and put it in another bin to let all the worms mature and the eggs hatch. That one. Yeah. My bottom shelving. Which I've actually oh look at that, meeting worms. Alright, those two there are going at it. Alright, look at that. Look at mating worms. This is uh, the main reason I filled this bottom section here up with paper. They kept coming down here, so I figured if they want to be here, I'll give them a spot to hang out. And I've heard a few people say that it helps, that they breed quite well down here. So, and um, well, look, there's some proof of them going at it hard. So, a bit of a close up of that. Hardcore. Anyway, we'll let them go back to some bedding. Some shred of paper in here. Worms seem to be making a bit of a home in. There's quite a few worms hanging out down here. Um, they've got very fat neck bits on them. I'm assuming that means they're getting ready to drop some eggs. Um, I think I might go through this and take some of the worms out because there's just far too many worms hanging out down here for my liking. So, but yeah, move these guys out and probably into one of my new beds. I'm in the process of preparing. In a while I'll move all of this up into my next bin to start off my next layer. And yeah, it should go well. So hope you liked my video. My first one. If you want to see more some updates on this little system to see how it's going, I'm gonna put some more worms in here. There's only about twenty or so. But um I'm also gonna start up a little mini worm bin and this might put four worms in it just with some shredded card touch of food and I'll hide it away in a cupboard so see how that goes um, if you liked my video please comment like subscribe and I'll do some more updates and do a video on me harvesting this in the next couple of days just purely to get the worms out and to get another bin going um, it's probably not really ready for a harvest, but I'm not after the compost, I'm after the worm for fishing. So, anyway, like I said, like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Catches.